We are here with Stephen Coltai, who is a senior advisor to the US Secretary of the State with particular responsibility for entrepreneurship and spreading entrepreneurship around the world. Thank you very much for joining us, Stephen. Thank you. Uh, well, first question, you are here to promote entrepreneurship around the world. You must be very, very impressed and inspired by what you've seen so far today. Yeah, that's putting it mildly. I mean, it's, this is it's totally awesome. I love it. So basically, if, if your role is to promote entrepreneurship, it seems that in some ways the Middle East is ahead of the game. Well, I, I, I certainly think that this event is, is catalytic uh, for, what, for the Middle East and uh, incredibly exciting um, and hopefully really a kickoff for lots more to come. Can you just explain to us in simple terms what is really behind the global entrepreneurship movement in, uh, or the, the, the program in right. the State Department? What's it looking to achieve and what kind of message is it trying to promote? Uh, the global entrepreneurship program which I run at the State Department is uh, basically um, about promoting entrepreneurship in emerging market countries. And we are, uh, we, we were sort of ourselves kicked off by the uh, a summit that President Obama hosted in April, for which I was the coordinator from the State Department, um, which uh, brought together about 200 entrepreneurs from 55 countries, of which several are here, including Arif Nakvi and Fadi Gandor, who have done such an amazing job with this whole event. Um, the, the purpose of the, the program is, as I say, to, to uh, spur entrepreneurship in any ways that we can. It is a very heavily partner driven program. We have partners both in the U.S. and in the countries that we work in. There are about 15 focus countries, although the program looks at all emerging market countries. Um, and the, the partners come from five categories of organizations, uh, NGOs, non-government organizations, corporations, foundations, uh, colleges and universities, and uh, investor groups, mostly private equity and venture capital. And they're organized to, to around six programmatic areas identify, train, connect and sustain, fund and celebrate entrepreneurs. And in each of these, there are very specific programs, most of which they have, some of which we from the US government side have uh, and which we promote uh, together. What is, the, what is the motivation for this policy and this program? What, what, do you, what is the US trying to achieve by promoting this? Well, it's, it, you know, the, the, the fact of the matter is that uh, uh, entrepreneurship is what made America. And entrepreneurship is in the DNA of America. Um, and uh, it has never before been used as a sort of principle of, of foreign policy. And I'm, I'm an entrepreneur. I came into the government a year ago just to run this program. I have, you know, 30 years of business experience, never... Never, never worked in the government before. And it's, to me, um, incredibly exciting that um, this administration, President Obama and Secretary Clinton, have um, decided to zero in on using entrepreneurship as a driver for economic growth and jobs growth abroad in exactly the same way as has been the case in the US for 200 plus years. Is this then, would you say this is a policy that is about engaging with the emerging world in a, let, let's say for the sake of argument, a less confrontational way? Or is it a, a, another way of replacing aid or of stimulating uh, growth that would replace kind of a traditional aid program? Well, I think, you know, it, it is absolutely a, a, about recognizing that the underlying kind of foundation for, you know, political stability, civil society, is economic health. And the underlying driver of economic health is, is entrepreneurship. You know, in the United States, um, from 1985 to 2005, every single net new job was created in an entrepreneurial or small or medium-sized business. There was a net decrease in the payroll of uh, major corporations. So, um, and this has been true historically. So um, w w what, what we're simply doing is trying to apply exactly the same solutions we use ourselves in our own economy, in our own country, uh, around the world, recognizing that, you know, maybe we have something to offer because sort of the spirit of entrepreneurship that, that exists in the United States and, and particularly the infrastructure that has developed may be uh, instructive or helpful in other parts of the world, particularly this part of the world, in, in bringing their own. So it's basically about 
helping to create more employment opportunities, turning people away from maybe slightly more extremist uh, practices and activities and, and, and making them you know, the stakeholder environment, giving people a stake in their own futures. Yeah, the other thing I would say that's really important in, 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 in our policy is, and I talk about the entrepreneur bridge a lot, um, you know, innovation uh, for its own sake uh, stays in the laboratory and in the scientific journals. Generally speaking, most innovation makes it to the marketplace through entrepreneurs. So there, not only is entrepreneurship a driver of the economy overall, but specifically with respect to innovation, which is so terribly important to next generation, to economic growth. Frankly, you know, the, the, the expression a rising tide raises all boats. I mean, we have a selfish interest as well. You know, we, we want the total size of the economy to grow so that our piece of it can also grow. What, what, where have you seen particularly positive signs from your program from around the world? Where have you seen people really embracing this notion of an entrepreneurship that's given you real hope that this program can take root and not just survive an administration or a particular policy program, but be institutionalized for the foreseeable future? Well, frankly, you know, and, and, and you'd have to ask uh, Abraj and the organizers of, of today's event, but, you know, the fact is that um, uh, most of, you, you will find in, in, in this hall today probably two-thirds of the people who were delegates to the presidential summit, including the people who've organized it. We have uh, uh, programs, versions of my program, the Global Entrepreneurship Program, that are starting in our two pilot countries, Egypt and Indonesia, B uh, both cases driven primarily by the people who were at the summit and actually in both cases um, were, were born at the summit with resolutions by the delegations from those two countries to go home and do this. So I, I think it is working. You know, the, 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 the goal, our goal, is to simply start the ball going down the track um, and, and, and then have it gain momentum on its own. And what has gone on here today is, is probably the most dramatic single example of that that I've seen. There are other examples in other places, but none at this scale. As this, this, this institutionalized and this big and this, exactly. this capacity. Exactly. On a, and again, entrepreneurship just isn't important to emerging markets such as this one. I mean, let's be honest with you, the world, the world economic situation isn't fantastic. How much can entrepreneurship be a driver, not just in emerging markets, but back home in your country, the United States and in Western Europe? Well, the, 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 you, you, that's exactly the right point. I mean, for example, I, you know, am on the, at the State Department running this from, from the State Department's side. I have a colleague uh, who is solely focused on doing it domestically. Um, so, and we work very closely together, and in fact, um, a lot of the same things that we're doing internationally, I'm proud to say we're a little bit ahead of the curve in terms of developing Fantastic. our program, but a lot of the things that we're doing, a lot of the partners that we're working with, uh, he is too. So, um, and we're always looking for new partners, and one of the things I, I want to say to people is if, if you are interested in, in becoming a partner in the Global Entrepreneurship Program, uh, that is sponsored by the State Department. All you need to do is contact entrepreneurship at state.gov and that will connect you into, uh, it's free. Um, we, and we look from partners, as I said, from all five sectors, NGOs, corporations, foundations, uh, investors, uh, and universities. Entrepreneurship at state.com. Uh, .gov. .gov. Entrepreneurship at state.gov. State Part of the US government. Fantastic. Well, hopefully we can actually see some entrepreneurship activity here that maybe you can take back with you to America and maybe learn a few lessons. I, I, I'm a absolutely convinced that's happening. This show itself is an example of that. Wonderful. Thank you very much in time, uh, for, for your time today, me. Stephen. Thank you very Thanks much for indeed. having me.